Good evening, everyone. I'm Ryan Krueger. Happening right now, gym goers across the metro all need to be on alert tonight. Police say two teenage boys are dressing up as women in order to get into the locker room and steal keys and cars, all while the owners still working out in the gym. 11 Alive's Latasha Gibbons has the latest for us tonight. Cash, credit cards and cars. Those are just some of the items the suspects stole. But the strangest part for customers and employees is how they got away with it. What? What? Are you kidding me? Seriously? That's Royce Evans response when she learned about the gym thefts that went on between the months of November and December in Gwinnett County. These police reports show Planet Fitness, Gold's Gym and LA Fitness locations were targeted by crooks who police say made their way into men's locker rooms and sometimes dressed like women to get into the women's locker rooms at various gyms. For a man to have to dress up like a woman to come in and become a thief is very creepy. Take a look at these surveillance pictures. Police say 17-year-old Tarquinius Mack and 18-year-old DeQuavis Smith used what's called bump keys. Those are keys that can open almost any lock. Once they got in, police say the pair stole credit cards, car keys, and other personal belongings. Yeah, that's absolutely ridiculous. It's very scary to know that I just can't go to the gym and put my stuff in the locker and it'd be safe. This police report states once Mack and Smith had some of the car keys, they ran off with the gym members' vehicles from the parking lot on more than one occasion. I usually leave my keys in the in the locker room. But Evans will now take her car keys with her on the treadmill. So along with my phone and everything else. One police report states gym workers saw what appeared to be three men wearing female wigs go into the women's locker room, but they didn't say anything because they didn't want to appear transphobic. I'm actually slightly shocked. You know, because I don't really put nothing past anybody nowadays. I mean, it's kind of the world we live in. Detectives say the pair were able to use some of their credit cards before they were reported missing. However, some of the stolen vehicles were recovered in Atlanta. If you have any information on their whereabouts, contact police.